All right, we're ready to start Stitch Pro SDI. We're going to show you the running stitch today. This is part of basic digitizing found on page 16. title there and zoom up the mouse. The mouse uh, that we use is called a Digimouse found up on the top of your toolbar, Digimouse. We'll be using the white button on the left side and the green button on the right side. That's the one and the three button. Let's go to a new screen. Now let's turn the digitizing mouse on. You'll notice with the digitizing mouse on that as you hit the left mouse button, we'll lock in points. If we turn on the control point tab, we'll see those points. Those points are represented by a little white button. And here I'm just hitting my left mouse button freely. If I want to make a curved running stitch, I start with the left mouse button, which is the white button, and I go to the middle of the curve and I hit the right mouse button one time which is a green mouse button and the right mouse button again and you can see the button colors change there's a white to start a green in the middle and a green at the end to continue it's simply green 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 that's right mouse button right mouse button right mouse button right mouse button Now, let's put this together, and I'll start with a, a new screen once again, and I'll import some artwork, and that artwork, I believe I will input uh, from my documents, uh, let me find something here, my pictures, going to a folder with some artwork. Oh, how about this one right here? And all pictures, all files, and let's get this apple. Okay, so there's this a nice, big, juicy apple. Digitizing mouse on. Running stitches. Let's uh, imagine that we're doing, we're in the last stage of this design, and we're putting running stitches around the leaf. So we'll pick a point to start. I'll put one, 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 white, white, white to lock the stitching down. And then we'll follow the outline. Now the larger this artwork is and the more detailed it is, the closer we will stay to the detail. But if this was a small one inch apple going on a hat, uh, you know, we can we can be a little bit looser with the points. Let's go ahead and put this vein in. And I'm just moving slightly, little increments of maybe a quarter inch at a time. And I'm following the lines. If I wanted to uh, use the right mouse button in the middle of the curve, I could do so. So that is a left mouse button, middle of the curve, end of the curve, middle of the curve and end of the curve. So it's left mouse button, middle, 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 middle. And we follow the shapes. The running stitch is a very, very, very powerful stitch. With the running stitch, you can put in many, many odd shapes. So if you see a shape that's odd, don't worry about an automatic pattern. Just use the running stitch. Control points. Digitizing mouse off. Grab on a control point and move that point. Move that running stitch. Digitizing. Go to the end end of the, the last point, we'll go turn the digitizing mouse back on and continue. Control points off if you wish. So very, very, very simple. This concludes the running stitch and the next pattern we'll be doing will be the column stitch.
part of a four stitch series. Learn these four basic patterns and you will become a great digitizer in a short period of time.